Hello and welcome to this tutorial of Control Review HQ. In this tutorial, we are going to show you how to get started and how to use both Control Review HQ and Proof HQ online proofing service. Control Review HQ was created with the designer in mind. It requires very little effort to set up and offers great control and possibilities. If you are simply collaborating in the review process, you won't require anything other than an email address and an internet browser, so no more sending PDFs by email or other time-consuming ways. First, download the Control Review HQ extension from our website. Once downloaded, double-click to install. When the installation is complete, start your application. In this example, we are using InDesign. InDesign is now started. To view the Control Review HQ panel, go to Windows, Extension and choose Control Review HQ. First, you will need to log in with your Proof HQ account. If you do not have one, you will need to set one up. This takes only one minute to do, so let's do this now. Click on the Create Account button and you will be transferred to the Proof HQ website. Fill in the form and click Sign Up. Within seconds, you should receive an email with a link to activate your account. Back in InDesign, you are now ready to log in. Once logged in, we open a document that we want to send out for review. We click on the Start Review button. As this is the first time we are sending out a review, the list of collaborators is empty, so we need to type in an email address for the reviewers. In this case, it's Amy and Adam. We click the Finish button and the review uploads to the Proof HQ server. We now open a second document and click on the Start Review button. We can now see that Adam and Amy have been added to the list of reviewers. We check both and also make Amy an approver and reviewer for this review. So let's move over to Adam's mailbox. As you can see, Adam has received an invitation to a review. As he clicks on the Go to Proof button, he is taken to the document in the Proof HQ service. Once there, the interface is very straightforward and easy to use. He spots a couple of things that he does not like, so he makes comments about these issues. Once done, he simply leaves the page. Back to the designer and InDesign. The designer is working on something else, as he takes a pause to check if there are any comments to the reviews he sent out. The designer opens the document and the information in the Control Review HQ panel is updated. The two comments made by Adam appear. To see where these comments are, the designer clicks a button to go to the online proof. The designer approves these comments and acts upon them. Once done, the designer clicks the Start New Version button and a new version is sent to the Proof HQ server. Amy gets notified that there is a new version of the document and clicks the Go to Proof button to see what is going on.
As she has no further comments, she decides to approve the document. After that, she closes the page. Back to the designer who is keen on getting responses and clicks the refresh button. Job well done. The document's decision status has gone from pending to approved. These are the basic steps on how to use and set up Control Review HQ and Proof HQ. Of course, there are many additional features and possibilities that will make this review process fit your needs. However, what we have just proven is that the modern review and collaboration process does not require a rocket scientist or heavy investments in new equipment. It's time to embrace online services and get up to speed with modern technology. Thank you for watching.